Hi, my name is Tabitha, and today I'll be talking about Geobacillus therothermophilus. When I was searching for a bacteria that I wanted to further research on, I stumbled across Geobacillus therothermophilus. What I found interesting about this bacteria is that it's not only found in hot springs, but it's also found in soil. And I'm not just talking about the surface layer of the soil, I'm talking about deep within the soil to where when you dig it up, it feels cold to the touch. Geobacillus ther sterothermophilus also has a growth rate similar to that of Escherichia coli. Geobacillus sterothermophilus was first found in the early 1900s. It was first found in the can of corn, which was further traced back to the stalk of the corn as a spore. Geobacillus therothermophilus today is being further researched on in the world of biotechnology. The taxonomy of Geobacillus therothermophilus. The domain of Geobacillus therothermophilus is bacteria. The phylum is Firmicute. The class, which further describes the cell as being rod-shaped, is bacilli. The order is bacillels. The family is bacillaceae. The genus is geobacillus. And the species is geobacillus sterothermophilus. As stated before, the name of the cell Geobacillus sterothermophilus actually describes the cell shape. Geobacillus, bacillus, or bacilli, describes the, shell, the cell as being rod shaped. When looking at the bacteria growth of the colony Geobacillus sterothermophilus on an agar plate, it's described as being smooth, shiny, circular, convex, and cream in color. The cell envelope is gram positive, which will be further discussed later in this PowerPoint. The temperature of growth for Geobacillus sterothermophilus can go as low as 35 degrees Celsius and as high as 80 degrees Celsius. When the temperatures hit 80 degrees Celsius, the membrane of Geobacillus sterothermophilus can maintain its fluidity. Geobacillus sterothermophilus is also described as being aerobic, meaning that it can produce a spore that is heat resistant, which further produces a biofilm. Geobacillus sterothermophilus also utilizes carbon for growth. It can further grow into a heterotrophic or autotrophic growth. As you can see here, at the bottom right-hand corner is a picture of Geobacillus sterothermophilus, shown as rod-shaped. And in the top right-hand corner, you can see the growth of Geobacillus sterothermophilus on an agar plate. The special features of Geobacillus sterothermophilus. As described before, the growth rate of Geobacillus sterothermophilus is similar to that of Escherichia coli. The growth rate is 300 bacteria approximately in less than 24 hours. The fatty acid total of Geobacillus sterothermophilus is 60%, which Geobacillus sterothermophilus can further be identified by strain using the polymerase chain reaction. The features of Geobacillus sterothermophilus can be further described as being identical to that of Bacillus subtilis, meaning everything from the outer membrane to the core has the same features as Bacillus subtilis. 
The cell wall of Geobacillus sterile thermophilus is described as being thick. So thick that it contains 3 to 20 layers of peptidoglycan that's followed by tachoic acids. This further describes the cell as being gram-positive, meaning with this thick of a cell wall, nothing can penetrate the cell wall to lyse the cell itself. The flagellum of Geobacillus sterile thermophilus is described as being peritrichous, meaning that the flagellum grows on the body of the cell. The life cycle of Geobacillus sterile thermophilus is similar to that of Bacillus subtilis, meaning that it forms a spore. The spore is formed from the mother cell spore, which forms a four spore at the terminal end of the cell that further forms a spore coat when it's engulfed. Later in the sporulation, that four spore then forms not only the coat, but the outer four spore membrane, the cortex, and the inner four spore membrane. As soon as that spore is getting ready to lyse from the mother cell, it further then germinates into a, a chromosome. Well, a cell containing a chromosome which can further go into a vegetative cycle, going further into a, a growth of binary fission, or it can further form a spore in the spore, spore relation. As described before, Geobacillus sterothermophilus has a huge role in the world that we know today. It's found as a spore on raw produce, which is further found in canned goods of that produce. Geobacillus sterothermophilus is also found in dairy farms on top of their steel benches as biofilms. Other areas, Geobacillus sterothermophilus where it plays a huge significant role is soil, compost, hot springs, ocean sediments, plants, and waters in the Arctic. All of my work that I researched is listed here in our Works Cited page. Feel free to check it out when you have a chance. It's very interesting reads, trust me. I mean, I had so much fun researching Geobacillus sterile thermophilus. One more thing I would like to point out before I end this video is in this picture off on the left hand side, you can see these little blue tips on top of the Geobacillus sterile thermophilus on the rod, as we call it. It's showing a formulation of a spore, which this one looks like it might be ready to lice off that mother cell. Thanks, guys, for listening in. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys later in class.